Good morning, Titans. Today we have all your Friday news, including results from our academic decathlon team, a student who excels in speech and debate, and how you can help the Antelope Heights journalism program. All of this and much more starts right now, only on your Channel 5 Titan TV News. Titans, today is February 10th. I'm Janae Mim. And I'm Brooke Kick. So, Brooke, it's still up in the air. Want to be my Valentine? I thought we already went over this, Janae. But that was last week, Brooke. It's been a whole week. Well, nothing has changed today. It's still a no. Whatever, Brooke. Let's just get on with the show. As you all know, we've had a pretty good Titan sports team, but that's not all we're good at. The academic decathlon team did pretty well at their last competition. Seniors Ashley Wanasamba and Josh Williams both received gold medals. Here for more details are reporters Matt Hoffman and Julian Perez. The Academic Decathlon is a series of tests that students study for and take. It's a one-day competition in which students uh, compete with economics, music, art, literature, mathematics, and science. Every year is a different thing. And we get together and we prepare as a club uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays after school. There's a thick four inch binder. Uh, we have basic art that we study and then every year there's a new theme. This year was uh, the art of the empire or the age of the empire. Uh, so students get to learn not only the basics in economics, literature, history, and science, they learn about the theme. And the whole competition culminates in a Jeopardy style uh, super quiz on stage. Some schools bring cheerleaders. Uh, Joshua and the rest of our team did an excellent job this year. And we're looking forward to building the team so that next year we can bring home the gold for Antelope. Well, I won three medals at Akadeka. Um, sure, for academic decathlon. I won gold in science, gold in music, and gold in the interview category. And how I studied was they give you a giant um, binder and you look through it, you look through the different subjects, and then later you take a test on it called the super quiz. And uh, I was competing against many other people who go to different schools. And I was in the category called Scholastic. So I won these three doing that in Scholastic. Last weekend, some of our very own dancers and alumni traveled to Santa Clara, California to participate in the Pulse Convention. Seniors Christy Cortez and junior Ian Capper were recognized for their great talents and were awarded a scholarship to attend next year's prestigious convention. Senior Aaron Weaver competed at last weekend's comp speech and debate competition at Rockland High School. Reporter Marcus Grimaldi had a chance to talk with Weaver about last weekend's competition. Fourth, I broke in my dramatic interp and my impromptu rounds, so I got to go to finals for that. And I placed sixth in impromptu and third in dramatic. And February 24th and 25th, I get to go to St. Francis High School and compete for a chance to go to the state tournament in April. Yesterday was the first day for all freshmen, sophomore, and junior students to register for next year's classes. Students have until February 16th to choose their classes. Look at the video posted on Antelope High website under Titan TV News if you need further help with registering with your classes. Just another reminder, Titans, the blood drive is being held on February 22nd in the small gym. If you're 16 and weigh more than 110 pounds, head over to science instructor Miss Annie Clegg's room to pick up a permission slip. Also, the matchmaker survey pre-sale is going on right now. Students can pre-order their perfect matches today or Tuesday for $2 with ASV and $3 without. On March 11th, journalism instructor Mr. Pete LeBlanc will be running the 13.1 mile Shamrockin Half Marathon. The goal of the run is to raise $5,000 so that Antelope High School's journalism class can attend a field trip to Columbia University in New York. Go to www.ahsdonate.com to donate. Reporter Andrew Mitchell caught up with the blank yesterday. 
So the race that I'm running is the uh, Shamrock. It's a half marathon, and it's really cool. It starts in well, it starts at Rayleigh Field uh, in West Sac, and then it runs through uh, Old Sac. Most of the race is in Sacramento, and then one of the things I really like about the race is that you finish. Uh, you run into center field at Rayleigh Field and then they put you up on the scoreboard and uh, so the end sprint is really motivating uh, for that race. I'm trying to get, uh, I'm trying to finish the race in an hour and 50 minutes which where I'm at right now is going to definitely be a challenge. It's now time again for your weekly sports corner. Here with everything sport, Titan Sports are Mariah Pruitt and Kyle Hotchkiss. Good morning Titans, I'm Mariah Pruitt. And I'm Kyle Hotchkiss. With your Antelope Sports Corner. This is Sports Corner. How are you today, Mariah? I'm good, and you? Uh, I'm okay, but golf is really tiring me out. Why is that? You know, it's kind of driving a wedge into my work schedule and because of the whole long drive to the golf course. What? Uh, it's, it's a golf pun. Oh, well, anyways, quite a bit has been happening in Antelope Sports. Well, yes, there has. The varsity boys basketball team won on Wednesday against the Mariloma Matador 75-48. to Junior Gabe Beeler led the team in scoring with 24 points. This improves their record to 23-1 as they prepare to face the Cordova Lancers at home tonight starting at 7.30. We have coach Mike Dresser in the studio to talk about the season. Well, thank you, Mr. Dresser, for joining us on Sports Corner today. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. So how do you think the team will do against Cordova tonight? Uh, I think we should have a good game tonight. We, we got them the first time at their place. Um, hopefully we'll be ready again tonight. And it's a big game for us. I think we can clinch the league title tonight. Uh, so that's been one of our big goals, and hopefully we'll do that. Okay. So the team has had a phenomenal season so far. How do, what do you think has led the team to this great season? Uh, I think there are a lot of things that have contributed to our good season. Uh, I think one thing is the coaching staff I've been able to join this year, Coach Richards, Coach Cruz, Coach Watkins. They've been coaching together for a really long time and have had lots of success. Uh, but then it, it helps quite a bit when you have really good players. We've got uh, five starters that realistically could be the best player on, on a lot of high school teams in the area. And then we have four or five guys coming off the bench who would start for, for most of the teams in the area. So to have that kind of depth and the, you know, the kind of leadership we have, it, it's really helped us out a lot. Okay. Um, playoffs are right around the corner. How is the team prepared? I think we're, we're very prepared. Uh, we've had a few challenging games this year where we've had to, to, to raise our game a little bit, and that's what it's going to be like in the playoffs. Uh, we're going to face good teams because if you lose, you go home, and teams are going to be ready for us. And we know, it, It's nice because we have a lot of players who have playoff experience from mm -hmm. last year, and so they can hopefully share that with the, the new players on the team. Uh, and then I think one of the biggest things is going to be our fans. I've, mm -hmm. I've heard a lot about the, the playoffs last year, and selling out the building, and I, I hope we do that again. So I hope the community and, and our students can come together and make a sea of red out there. It'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. Well, thank you for joining me on Sports Corner. Appreciate it. <clears throat> the girls' varsity basketball team faced Cordova last night and came out on top 55-26. to 26. Junior Tyler Ellis led the team in scoring with 23 points. The wrestling squad was unsuccessful in the Division Three subsectional team duel last Saturday. However, they will be competing as individuals in the Capital Athletic League Championships today at Whitney. I still don't understand your golf puns. I, I guess you're just not up to par with all my golf jokes. Whatever. That's all we have for you today. On your Antelope Sports Corner. This is Sports Corner. Did you hear that, Brooke? The Matchmaker pre-sale is happening. Yes, Janae, I heard that. I already ordered mine, and I just know that you'll be my perfect match. Sure, Janae, but Jesse's already my perfect match. You just wait and see, Brooke. Well, Titans, that's all we have for you today. Don't forget to tune in next week for the Wednesday show. And don't forget to read today's Titan Time. The paper will be delivered at the end of this period. Enjoy the special four-page WASP visit insert covering the top ten moments in school history. Well, have a wonderful day, Titans. And a great three-day weekend. Bye! Bye.